how you've been, Michael. I haven't seen you for a while. Oh, I, I don't know what's going on. I went to bed Saturday, and I woke up Tuesday. But I kept dreaming of this girl. Of a girl? You're not dreaming of any shenanigans, are you? No, you big jerk. It's nothing like that. Well, what's it like then? Who is she? That's the problem. I don't know who she is. It always feels like she needs my help. She needs help? You're not making any sense. Well, I don't know. She never really says what she needs help on. But I always feel like something's not right. Well, like you haven't asked her anything about it? Well, I never get the chance. She just disappears. People don't just disappear. Yeah, I guess you're right. It's just a dream. Well, well, well. Hello, Anne. Guess what time it is. That's right. <laughs> time for another dose. Just a small one. You know, two more months of this, and I'll be out of here. Uh, look, if, if, you're, if you want to see Anne today, it's, it's a really bad day for that, so, you know, maybe another time. Oh, um, I just wanted to give this to her. Alright, you know, why not? Always. So come on in, come right in, come right in. Right this way. You know, I still have to give her medicine, so we should probably make this quick for her sake. Okay. Yeah. Sure, I understand. Come on in, Heather. Anne's right here. That's a nice iris. Anne's favorite. Yeah, I know. We used to pick them all the time when she was well. Mm, and that was a long time ago. You know, Anne needs her medicine really soon. And I think this might be a bad time. So why don't you, why don't you go? You know, I'll take care of Anne. I know you want to stick around, but it's a really bad time, but I can call you. <laughs> Okay. All right. Yeah, yeah, call me if anything changes. Sure thing, Heather. Okay. Yeah. See ya. Back to business. She's in here. Just keep looking. Michael. Michael. Wake up. start to feel good, he comes, then I'm here with you. That doesn't make any sense. He's coming. We have to go. Finally, you've been asleep for forever. I found out who she is. I was going to tell you, but you fell asleep. What would you find? Her name is Ann Peters. She used to go to our school, but three years ago she was in a serious car accident with her mom and stepdad. They both died at the scene and she's been in a coma ever since. The doctor said that she should have only been in it for about six months, but that wasn't the case. You sure? Yeah, this was her, right? Oh, wow. That's pretty crazy. Well, do you know where she lives? Uh... It says that she lives at home with her stepbrother. 
No, I mean my address. Oh, um, Matt Tanley. Hang on. It says here that in two weeks that there's no sign of her getting better. What? They'll give up. Um, can I help you? Hi, does Anne Peters live here? Yes. Yes, she does, but why do you care? Look, I, I just really need to see her. Uh, yeah. No, no, please, I just... <laughs> Something's up. What do you mean? With her stepbrother. He's definitely up to something. What? Michael. Are you there? I gotta get in there. Wait, what? Are you crazy? I have to help her. It says here that it's some kind of anesthesia. It paralyzes the body's muscles. Oh, he's, he's here. 